Oh yeah, it's definitely the weekend, all right. I have a lot of people here. What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Officer O'Leary here, back again with another video from Six Flags A Great Adventure. Damn, look at that parking job. I'm <laughs> legit, like, right by the entry. Yes, that's right. Go home, everybody. More Jersey Devil for me. Probably not. That thing's probably broken, honestly. There's two reasons I came tonight. Number one reason is obviously to go check on Jersey Devil and see what the line looks like, which is probably freaking ridiculous because there's so many people here. And then uh, number two, I got some friends that are showing up in a little bit that we want to meet up with and hang out for a little bit. Not like we're totally going to be able to ride anything because, uh, yeah, this place is freaking packed. You know it's busy as hell and Skystreamer has got a full queue and it's spilling out. I'm just going to eat this real quick over by Jersey Devil while I wait for my friends to meet up with me. I've never seen so many people. No, well, it appears uh, one of the trains stopped over there on the big horse right now. And uh, the train over here stopped in the station, so uh, all the trains behind it are now stacked. Six Flags actually gave this ride a little bit of theming. <laughs> it's not original theming, like, this actually came from a ride that was removed a few years ago. <laughs> Way down there somewhere is where the line is. They got Jersey Devil back up and running, so we gotta grab a locker because I don't think you're allowed to have any phones or anything in your rocket. The ride's still so new, I really don't even know what the deal is. We waited in uh, line maybe for about a half hour for Jersey Devil coaster, not even. Probably like 20 minutes or so, that was good. I actually got the very back of a train, and then my, my two friends over here, they were on the like middle of the, the next train. We almost got in the front. Yeah, we yeah. So she was on what, two or three. Oh, we, she I was, was three, I was three. four. Yeah, you guys were like next to the line, so I guess some people must have came up to the exit or something. Yeah, there was a... Yeah, yeah we're, we're heading over to this, uh, I don't even know what to call this thing. It's <laughs> a Skull Mountain. Just got off Skull Mountain. That it was pretty lame, honestly. They, it's supposed to be Skull Mountain Remix, where there's supposed to be more lights and stuff in there. And it's like really, uh, really not very immersive at all. Like, you go up into the ride itself and uh, the freaking doors open, they got like some fans going. And I get they need ventilation in there because it's like an inside attraction because of COVID or whatever. But holy crap, like you can see clearly like the track and everything. There's a bunny. There's a bunny? It's right there in the keep out. <laughs> oh man, the bunny lost his hat. I swear I left my carriage somewhere over here. <laughs> All right, well, there's about 20 or so minutes left in the park being open today. So we're going to head over to the other side of the park to ride the best coaster here. Definitely a lot of people over here. I think this is opening day or I think maybe yesterday. I don't, I don't know. Either way, we got those greens, baby. Let's go. So cool. Can't believe this is open finally.
Damn, I haven't seen a line for the teacups like this one in a while. Is there baby ducks? What? No, those, those are geese. geese. They're, those are grown up a little bit. You know you got brand new ones though? What do you mean? This park has a really crazy geese population. Like they're, they're absolutely insane. They'll come up to you while you're just sitting down eating fries or whatever and they'll just like beg for food. They'll just sit there with their mouths open. It's insane. Some caps. Filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. The lockers over by El Toro are actually full, so we're gonna run over to Bizarro real quick and grab a locker there, because the chances of them being full there are pretty slim. They don't have a loose article policy. It's too bad, because there's literally like six minutes left in the park, so I gotta kinda hustle my way over there. I should be able to make it. 7.55 right now, 7.56 right now, and I gotta get a locker here and run back over to Toro. I, uh, I don't know if we're gonna make it, but we're gonna try. Oh, just came off El Toro. We got like kind of a middle train row ride only because it was like last train of the night. And also shout out to my friend, uh, Pr Princessa Mendez, the supervisor over at El Toro. Tonight was her last night. She's been sending trains here for three years. It's absolutely insane. Also shout out to you random fan who lived four hours away. I didn't catch your name, but um, you and your sister are pretty cool. <laughs> Six Flags got all these uh, flags from Holiday World to put them up on the mine train station. For only being here for like two and a half hours, we got a lot done. We rode Jersey Devil, no, only rode it once. We rode El Toro, uh, well no, you know what? We didn't get that much done today, but hey, it was fun. We had a fun time doing it, that's all that matters. This is a great ride. What, the train? golf cart? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught the supervisor over there doing like a windmill dance. But <laughs> there's like, I don't know what happened here. There's still people getting on the Skyway buckets over here. Of course, uh, Six Flags closes the rides right at 8 o'clock, so if you're already in line for the ride, you get to ride it. So, it used to suck being a ride operator here, like you'd be stuck at a ride oh, for like an hour. Be <laughs> you'd be like stuck for like an hour or two after the park closed, because your ride's popular, you had a long line. That shit sucked. Yeah. Oh, the prizes kind of suck, actually. Like, they have a bunch of these bears, and some of them say, like, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard. Like, that's all cool or whatever, but they don't have one for the Marine Corps. Now, that's where my friend was in. Um, he's got one hand over and one hand back. I don't know what type of strategy that is. I've never seen that before. He's only got 52 seconds. 50. Oh. 40 seconds. Uh oh. Oh. He had 36 seconds left or whatever. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, we're heading out for the day. A lot of people behind us, holy crap. Yeah, today was pretty good. We only got on a couple of rides, but it's all, it's all right. I had to work this morning. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Yeah. <laughs>